Hi. In this video, we'll be covering the Modify section within Columns. The Modify section is simply a feature that allows you to take data and modify it in some particular way. The Modify feature is a paid feature, so if you're currently using a free plan, you will not be able to modify data. But you can actually sign up to any of our paid plans and then have access to this feature. I also want to mention that this video will cover some advanced uh, selector tricks um, that I will not be going into, but uh, if you're seeing something that might be useful, I then recommend watching our columns video because that video will cover a lot of these advanced tricks that I'll be covering or might be using. Um, the columns video will be using the easy column finder and then also the advanced finder, which is where we'll be covering all the advanced tricks that you might see. Lastly, this video might be a little long because I'm going to go through each option and provide an example, but hopefully you can skip ahead to the one that is interesting to you. So that said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing I want to point out is um, I'm doing a detail recipe. And when you're doing a detail recipe, the, uh, you do not need to worry about the rows because the entire page is actually going to be the row. As you can see, there is a red dotted line wrap around the entire profile. So what this means is uh, pretty much anything from within this red box is currently being extracted. And a little trick to be aware of is if you leave a selector blank, you actually will be getting the entire page. The reason why this is useful is because in many cases, uh, you will have an email somewhere on the page and you're most likely going to want to extract that. So rather than trying to find a selector for just that email, you can actually use a blank selector and then use the first modify option, which is extract email from inside result, which means out of all of this data, this modify option and now will capture just the email. I did want to point out that a lot of this data is fake data. Um, this is just a practice page, so you're not seeing anything real here, which is why we have email at email.com. But this process will still work for real data found on real sites. So that covers the first modify, which is capturing the email. Um, it will still work though if you use uh, a selector and capture the email. Uh, at that point, it's just kind of unnecessary though. Cool, so for the next modify, that is going to be the before. So what this means is a data miner will provide you with the data uh, before any specific keyword or space. So let's pretend, uh, let's say we wanna capture the person's first name. So what we'll do is quickly capture their name. So as you can see, we have their full name here as they review the data. But let's say I want to capture just their first name. So I'll say before and then a space. So now we're getting just the name Alan. And this actually works for uh, characters as well. So let's say for the city state zip, I only wanted the city. Um, so what I would notif uh, notice is that there's a comma right here. So let's capture that data for a second. Okay, so that is a P. So obviously that's captured more data than we need. So this is where an advanced selector comes in. So I would say colon contains, and then I only want, uh, let's say, so what would be static here? So the contains is only gonna be looking for data on this page that is gonna be consistent. Um, so let's say USA, cause that will probably stay the same um, for a lot of your sites. Um, you could also have done the comma as well. Oh, looks like that captures the comma, uh, the paragraph does as well. So let's stick with uh, USA. Cool, so now we're capturing, oops, wait, there we go. So now we're capturing the city uh, before the space, but we can actually change this to the comma. So now we're capturing the word city, which is now gonna capture just the city's name. So it, for example, we're in Seattle, so this would have been just Seattle rather than Seattle, Washington, USA. And this actually is the same process for the next modify option, uh, which will be the uh, after. So again, let's say we wanna capture the person's uh, last name. So we find their selector, and then we say after space, and that gets us the last name. And again, let's say, uh, let's edit this so we can capture this selector. So now changes to um, the city, state, um, country. So now let's say we want to say after the comma. 
So now we're going to get the state. Oops. Why is this? Let's see. So we have this selected. That's good. Oh, there we go. So we had an extra space in there. So if I now do the keyword comma, now we're getting just the state and USA. So this would have been the uh, Washington USA. Cool. Um, so also one thing to be aware of is uh, in the future, we do plan on having a some sort of method set up where you can actually feed data into each other. Um, so meaning in the future, we hope to have a modify where you can do a before and an after, which will allow you to capture, um, for example, just the state. Um, but we do not have that feature quite yet, but uh, we, hope to we hope to have that in the future. Okay, for the next one, uh, the next modifier will be the uh, append. And this one's pretty straightforward. It simply just uh, adds text to uh, the data at the end. So next, for example, um, we wanted to capture the person's name and we wanted to add um, dash, um, I guess just name for this example. I can't think of a, an example off the top of my head, but as you can see, we now have the word name at the beginning. And then we'll do add new column and the prepend is the exact same scenario. It will allow you to add text to the beginning of the data. So again, let's say we hover and shift, oops, capture their name, modify prepend, and name dash. And again, we're now going to add a uh, name to the beginning of the data. So that those are pretty straightforward. Uh, but now actually to get to uh, a, a good, like a really good modifier. Um, so this will actually take any data um, and search a keyword and then replace it with something. So let's say um, so this scenario would be good for if you have trouble selecting data, um, that comes with a title. So let's pretend we want to capture the past employer information. Um, so we capture that. So as you can see, I hover and shifted, um, and there's a class called past one. I hit confirm, and this is getting me the data. Um, but it's also capturing the title, which is not great. So what you can actually do is say, take this title and then put it in the uh, modify. We want to do replace and add the, uh, the keyword there or keywords. And now, as you can see, that data has been removed. So now we're getting just, uh, the, the data rather than the title as well. Um, another, uh, so. That is based on keywords. And the next uh, modifier is fairly similar. It is a, a replace type of scenario, but this time it's using regex, which is much more powerful. Um, essentially uses code as a way to uh, take data and modify it on a much more granular level. Um, very similar to replace, but at this point, um, you can kind of be more creative uh, with what you're trying to accomplish. So for example, um, when I, when we captured, uh, that, uh, the, for the, um, the past employee history, employment history, um, there were a ton of spaces. So if we hit confirm real quick, so as you can see, uh, we have all this extra space. So let's pretend that we're okay with the title, but we want to get rid of those spaces. So what you can actually do is in this example here, um, this is actually going to be a scenario where it replaces all of the spaces. So let's say, so using the regex um, format, we'll do forward slash and then backslash S, which means space um, plus, and then forward slash and G, which means global. Um, this regex is a, a fairly old language and there's quite a lot of documentation out there. Um, so we're not going to go into too much detail about this, but if this is something you're interested in, we recommend you researching it and then you can apply it here. Um, but essentially what I'm saying is within re, uh, regex, uh, take the spaces and at this point, uh, it's being replaced with nothing. But if we add a single space and then review the data, you'll see that we got rid of all of those spaces. Um, the 
We'll do one more example with the regex because this is quite possibly the most powerful modifier we have. Um, so let's say instead of the past employer, we want to get the GPA. And we have that now. Uh, but let's pretend we only want the, the number rather than the text. Um, but obviously, uh, universities could change. Like this title might be different. Uh, it may not always be Texas. It could be Seattle. It could be California. Um, so to handle that scenario, rather than using the replace, with ha which has a specific keyword um, that can't change, we can actually tell Dataminer to extract um, pretty much or replace anything that's not a, a digit. So the way you would do that is, again, with the regex format, it'd be a forward slash, and then the backslash with a capital D will get rid of all the uh, non-numeric uh, 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 characters. So as you can see, we now are getting just the five and a zero. Um, but let's actually add, oh. uh, so no, for the, that will get rid of all of it. Um, to keep that period, I'm gonna do a slightly different regex. Um, Um, zero through nine, period. As you can see, regex can be tricky. Um, okay, so that gets, so the, essentially what we're saying here is um, anything, uh, replace anything that is uh, zero through nine and a period. Um, but we actually want Um, uh, to say anything that's not zero through nine or a period. So we need a caret for that. Uh, cool. Perfect. So as you can see, regex is definitely powerful, but it can be tricky because of just how um, kind of nu nuanced the the code has to be. What we're saying is uh, within the the regex format of the forward slash, then forward slash g, we're saying um, pretty much. Anything that we want, uh, um, get rid of anything that is uh, not zero through nine or a period, which is essentially the the letters. So we're capturing just the uh, numeric characters at this point, which is the GPA. And then, like as you saw a second ago, I forgot the caret, and this is now capturing just the text. Um, and this uh, kind of regex language can do much more than this. Um, but like I said, it's a, it's an old language and there's a lot of documentation out there. So we recommend you looking into it, but if you spend some time with it, we think it can be very helpful for you. Um, and of course you don't always have to replace it with nothing. You could have put something in here. Um, you could just say test and now all of the, the, the numbers are now being replaced with the word test, as you can see. Um, well, that pretty much covers the modify section. Um, the one we didn't cover is none, but that's pretty straightforward. That just captures the data as is. Um, if you have any questions, definitely send us an email. Our email is support at data-miner.io. And uh, I guess I hope this video was helpful. All right, thanks for watching.